Today I'm going to do my very first haul. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm going to do a cult pens, cult pens haul. I went with cult pens because it's in England, so then I don't have to pay customs when it's shipped to Sweden. Plus, it, the shipping is quite quick to Sweden, and the prices are better than in Sweden too because. Everything's expensive here. So the reason for my um, wanting to buy new pens, other than pens are awesome and you need them all the time, was that I've been looking for a new drawing pen. And I'm so... Uh, I've used so many fine-tipped uh, regular black liner pens that it's ridiculous. And I think that they, they get like worn out before the ink runs out so I'm just constantly buying new ones because the tip's so bad so I've been looking into something that's going to make that a little bit easier for me. So I was first thinking about technical drawing pens with like a, a steel nib I think they have so that aren't going to wear down. Now you just keep refilling with ink and then and then I saw a, an interview with Megan Hess and she has her iconic Mont Blanc pen, which she's named Monty, and I was just like, I need a Monty too, but of course I'm not going to spend like, I don't even know how much on a Mont Blanc pen, so I looked into it an, another sort of reservoir pen. And I went with the Caveco Sport. It's a German pen, and I chose the the clear version as you can see and has gold details which I thought was very luxe and beautiful and it's so small too it's cute and it twists out and becomes comfortable to use and again the tip the tip is gold which is really fun and makes I don't know makes drawing a little bit more interesting there's not that many items that you can invest in as an illustrator besides a fancy computer and and a pen so even though this was a little bit more expensive than I usually would buy for a pen I think that it will last for a very long time and it looks nice too I haven't tested it out that much yet but so far I really like the fine tip size it's the perfect line, line size that I want and the ink's very black to go with this pen, I got the extra ink cartridges, which are just like the standard ones, nothing, nothing too fancy. I like this because it's not going to be mess, messy, I don't really like mess. <laughs> and then because I was crazy and I was looking at the Caveco um, Sport range, I saw that they had a mechanical pencil and I, I use mechanical pencils to draw all of my illustrations, so I thought something in gold that would match with think it was really fun. It's the regular like click kind and it's chubby and short and it fits perfectly in my hand. And they look really nice together. I like them as a little pair. I don't know, so it's I don't know. When you get new uh drawing supplies it's more exciting to make drawings of course. That's how it works. And uh it has 0.7 lead, so I bought some extra HB 0.7 leads to draw with. Ta -da! So that's my new little like um, perfect drawing pair. I'm gonna make tons and tons of illustrations with these. Hopefully, it's gonna be fun. So that was the main reason why I went on to Cult Pens to buy stuff. But of course, I ended up buying a few other things. I wanted a refill for my um, for my eraser pen thingy but they didn't have exactly this um, brand um, but I was looking at another brand and I measured the the eraser size and I forget where it came from but I measured it but unfortunately it's like half a millimeter too skinny but maybe I can use it anyways I also bought one of the uh, very iconic uh, Pilot g -Tech C pens. The, they're usually C4, C3, 
but this one's in a fancier packaging. It's called uh, the Mica uh, series, I guess. And it's just in black, and it has the nice like steel roller ball tip. Um, I have previously had the one that's like 0.25 millimeters or something like, but that's so teeny tiny that I have no use for it. But I love the pen. So I wanted to try the original. It's the exact same thing, it's just in fancy packaging and was more expensive. So I'm a sucker for stuff like that. <laughs> I like it so far. Good for all my smaller details. And I think it seems like high quality, like it's going to last long and the tip's going to last um, until the ink is finished. What else? I also purchased a couple of white pens. I've been wanting to get some white pens so that I can do some erasing on my illustration directly instead of having to do all the erasing on the computer, but unfortunately that, that didn't work out. I thought it was going to work with all kinds of pens, but I guess every single pen that I own is water soluble, so these just make the lines gray instead of white it out. So this is it was kind of a bummer, but I think I'll get some use out of them anyways for craft projects, maybe. And then, because I'm a Sudoku freak, uh, I don't know what, it's like a new obsession. I just like, whenever I have some free time, I like doing with my morning breakfast or something. I have my little Sudoku thingy and I like to, um, what's it called, solve Sudoku puzzles or whatever. So I bought some er an erasable, erasable pen or friction pen as they're called now. They're a little bit more fancy than they used to be. And it's just regular blue ink and has the little plastic thing to erase. And then Cult Pens kindly gifted me one as well from Uniball. And this one, the one that I picked was Pilot. They're both very nice and blue and they help me when I make mistakes, which is constantly. My favorite to do are the five five in one stickers if you, you're interested. <laughs> I think that's all I wanted to say. Mainly I was just really excited about about my new little my little drawing pair. This is gonna be so much fun to create lots of illustrations and I have it's almost um, winter time so it's gonna be dark and dreary so I'm gonna be inside drawing all the time so yeah I hope that you enjoyed watching my little haul and I can't think of anything else to say so uh, I guess I'll see you in internet land bye <laughs> I bought the most ridiculous thing but I really like it and I would never have bought this if I still lived in America a American flag bikini and 